Next, I'd like to show you a very useful feature in CamWorks called an avoid area. An avoid area allows you to define specific regions that you do not want to have machined, such as where you may have clamps holding the part. CamWorks makes this very easy to do. Here I have a simple part with a slot, four holes, and a boss for the profile of the part. I'll show you how you can insert an avoid area by using a sketch that we'll create in just a minute. Let me move over to the CamWorks operation tree to show you what I mean. If I right click on the roughing step for the slot, I have the option to insert an avoid area. Here in this dialog box, you see I am prompted to select a sketch to define the avoid area. Unfortunately, I don't have any sketches created yet to use for my avoid area. To create one, let's go into the sketcher in SOLIDWORKS. I'll click on the sketch icon here to create a new sketch. Next, when I pick the plane, keep in mind that the plane cannot be below the surface that is being machined, or CamWorks will not recognize the avoid area for that feature. I'll pick this top face here, and sketch a rectangle that could represent a clamp I'm using. I will exit the sketch, and rename it Clamp 1, so that it will be easy for me to recognize when I go to select it for the avoid. Next, I'll add one more sketch of another rectangle, and rename this sketch Clamp 2. Now when I switch back to the Operation Tree tab, right-click on the rough mill for the slot and select Insert Avoid Area. You will now see the two sketches called Clamp 1 and Clamp 2. CamWorks is only looking for one sketch per avoid, so I will select one of the sketches and then create another avoid in a moment to define the other. Before I select Finish, Notice that I can add an offset value here to expand the keep out area. And I can check this box here to have sharp corners on the avoid. I'll select Finish, and then regenerate the toolpath to update it. Here in the operation tree, you will also see an avoid has been added as a child. I'll do it one more time to create the avoid for our other sketch. and regenerate the toolpath. Now you might be wondering if we were going to have to repeat the process of inserting avoid areas into the finish mill operation for the slot and the finish mill operation for the boss. Well, CamWorks makes this really easy to do. All I have to do is hold the control key down as I click on each of the avoids and drag them down to the finish mill operations to copy them. Now I'll regenerate the toolpaths, and you can see that the avoid area has been copied. Here on the finish mill toolpath for the boss profile, you can see that if these avoid areas are representing clamps, then we might have some real problems. To fix this, I can edit the definition of my finish mill operation. Under the advanced tab, I have this section that tells the finish mill how to deal with avoid areas. Instead of feed around, I can use wrap it over or feed over. When I hit preview, you'll see the toolpath is updated. I also have the options to give it a little bit more clearance in the Z direction. I can also give it a little bit more clearance in the X and Y directions around the avoid sketch. By the way, any offset value I put in here will be in addition to the offset value I specified a moment ago in the avoid dialog box. Since I'm using the Feed Over option, the XY clearance does not apply in this case. Once we are finished with this step, what's the best way to remove the material where the clamps were? Well, this can be handled easily using Contain Areas.